Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to be looking at further examples of using z-scores. So let's get in. In 2013, a civil engineer graduating with a bachelor's degree earned on average $29,211 as a starting salary. A civil engineer graduating with a master's degree earned a starting salary of $34,606. Engineers graduating with bachelor's degrees can be represented by a normal distribution with a mean of $34,286 and a standard deviation of $3,636. And engineers graduating with master's degrees can be represented by a normal distribution with a mean of $39,278 and a standard deviation of $2,731. Based on relative position, would you suggest someone to, quote, stay in school or take the money and run? In other, way, in other words, in terms of starting salary, is it better to get a bachelor's degree and go out into the field, or is it better to stay in school, get your master's, and go out into the field? All right, so what we can do is we can calculate a z-score for each. So starting with a bachelor's, we had a starting salary for bachelor's of $29,211. And we had a mean salary of $34,286 and a standard deviation of $3,636. So a z-score for starting salary on a bachelor's degree can be calculated by, remember, x minus x bar over s. So that will be 29,211 minus 34,286 over 3,636. Using our calculator there, we get negative 1.4 as our z-score. So that means someone starting out with a bachelor's degree, going out and getting their first job as a civil engineer, is making about 1.4 standard deviations below average salary for an engineer with a bachelor's degree in general. So obviously it makes sense that they're starting out below the average salary, they're just beginning, they have no years of experience, but how far below is what we're trying to compare. So let's do the same comparison for someone who has a master's degree. See how far below they start. So the starting salary for a master's degree was $34,606. The average salary for a master's degree was $39,278. And the standard deviation for a master's degree was $2,731. So using our z-score formula for master's degree here, we get $34,606 minus $39,278 over standard deviation of 2,731. If we calculate that, we get a z-score of about negative 1.7. So while the earning potential overall seems to be higher with a master's degree, it seems like they are starting further below the average salary to start. So based just on relative position of starting positions, it looks like you are better off going out and starting off with a bachelor's degree for civil engineers in 2013 anyway. Another question that we can answer using z-scores is whether or not a particular data value is unusual. So using this same information, for engineers graduating with a master's degree, which we saw could be represented by a normal distribution with a mean of $39,278, and a standard deviation of $2,731, would an average salary of $46,106 be considered unusual? Now remember when we were thinking about our 
scale we considered between negative 2 and 2 usual and anything outside of that was unusual. So we can calculate a z-score if it is above 2 or below negative 2, we would consider it unusual. So our z-score here will be our data value of 46,106 minus our mean of 39,278 divided by our standard deviation of 2,731. Using our calculator to calculate that, we get a z-score of approximately 2.5. So because the z-score that we got is above 2, we would say that an average salary of 46,106 is unusual. Alright guys, that does it for this example video on using z-scores. We'll catch you in the next one.